people what's good youtube what's going on out there how is everybody doing i guess we're having a wonderful trading week it's a wednesday i don't trade on wednesdays i'm looking at my schedule my weekly schedule on what i have to upload on youtube today it's the wednesday i have to upload oil that's i have to upload a weekly uh i mean a breakdown or a review being WTI oil, the crude oil, you form. So I won't say much. I won't talk much. I will just break shit down, give shit legit. And most of all, make sure that I make someone take something from this. Not forcefully, but <clears throat> through my experience and my opinions, because this is financial disclaimer. Everything I say or do, it's entirely based off my own opinion and my own experience. It might happen. It might not. The only thing that we can manage to do is to just follow the price and to just enjoy our trading. So today we're having WTI, the crude oil. We all know what oil is. If you don't know what the WTI crude oil is, you can go check it out. I don't want to take long on this video and I don't want to break down shit that I also don't understand clearly about where oil comes from before so looking at the oil price from the past history, 1962, we can see our price has been moving, but price has been bullish, right? So price started creating some sort of zone right here where you can see what has been happening right there on the candlesticks. So price had some sort of support and had some sort of what? Some sort of resistance. Some sort of resistance right here. Some sort of support. Some sort of resistance right here. And some sort of support right here. You form so price having some sort of resistance and some sort of support. You can tell it broke out and broke back in and hit a retest above and hit a retest below, right? Textbook forex, and then price dropped and then breaking out again, breaking back in, having a retest below, continuing to the downside, coming back to our support, some sort of double top on the monthly. But looking at intraday time frames, it's a support zone. Price has been tapping on the zone for multiple times because this is the monthly and then price at a what a clean breakout and a retest and a break back in right and a breakout again and a retest multiple re rejections on the monthly obviously that anticipates that price has been rejecting and reacting on that zone for some time and then price did what price started moving to the upside right so now with this clean uptrend right price creating some sort of high on the hundred and forty-seven um um dollar hundred a hundred and forty-seven dollars a barrel of of oil in the United States on those years. I don't know what year it was, 2010 or 2009. How old was I in 2009? I was nine. I was literally like 10. I was 10. I didn't know what forex was, what oil was. I only know I only knew that oil is something you pour inside a car so a car can move. I didn't know anything about further apart from that. And then price did what pulse impulsively dropped. Obviously, so from price having an uptrend and price having a word, a downtrend. This is a clean. This has been an uptrend. Price has been moving in high highs and higher lows. And this is a clean drop. Price dropped. So meaning price did what price had a crash, a market crash. Oil had a market crash. Boom. When was that? I think it was from July 2008 up and until Jan 2009, six months. So, and then price did what price moved to the upside. Price creating some sort of a rising wedge because you guys know that we trade patterns, right? Creating some sort of what? Some sort of rising wedge. Price breaking out of the wedge, closing below our, our previous lows, anticipation of a continuation toward to the downside, right? So now, when I'm explaining this, people, I'm just trying to make sure I understand the history of oil, right? Until price did what? Well, price dropped again impulsively, continuing to the downside. Doing what? Breaking below the previous support structure. Boom. Closing below. Breaking below the previous support structure, right? On a pass so price didn't okay oil didn't have a price it was zero zero point zero right price oil didn't have a price and then price did what price had a clean uptrend with a rejection and a bullish close anticipation of an uptrend right and then price did what price started moving to the upside 
So when I now say this, people, price now has a high. We all know that we have an all-time high, 147 barrel, a price for 147, uh, $147 for a barrel of gasoline in the United States, right? And we have our lowest low, which is a 0, 0.00 price, meaning that price well had no price. We didn't have a price on it. We didn't have a name price. We didn't have a tech price on it. Price didn't have any amount you can buy with, right? And so now price started having a word and uptrend again. So when I now focus on everything now, let's forget the history. Let's look at current price. I have my support. I have my resistance. Those are facts, right? I have my all-time high on current price and I have my all-time low on current price, right? So on the monthly time frame, I won't say much, right? So looking at the zones, you can tell that Every zone that I've marked out, prices either reacted off of it or closed below off of it or closed above off of it, right? I don't need to explain that much, right? Until we had multiple reprojections right there, creating some sort of what 2022 support, right? You can tell from November, December, Jan, now 2022 slash 2023 support, right? So price created some sort of support zone until price did what? Boom, this month. We have to, we're closing this month on Friday. On Friday to the 31st, it will be the last month, the last day of the trading month, the last month, the last day of March, meaning the month will be closing on Friday, right? So with now price rejecting, with now price having a big move to the downside, people, you can see it. I don't need to explain it. It's a rejection. Price had a bear move to the downside and price is having some sort of what? Some sort of retracement. So price kind of like did what? Price kind of like broke the heart, kind of like broke the support and now we're breaking back in our support, right? So from what I'm looking at now, because I'm following current price, does this indicate that oil has now created a what? It has now printed out a low or are we now Okay, is oil creating a low anticipation of what price will be looking for them for some type of reversal? Or is this a low indicating that like price will continue coming back to this low, creating a 2023 support if we don't break off of this low and anticipate what some sort of support and anticipate some sort of reversal? I don't know, people. This is something subjective, right? So looking at the weekly. So on the weekly time frame, I won't say much. I will only show you how people how prices reacted on some previous zone. We can tell we had some sort of what some sort of um resistance right there. And so we had a breakout and a retest, right? And price broke back, broke below and broke above again, reacting to the upside, coming back again on this very same zone, pushing to the upside, creating those all-time highs, and then price started dropping, right? Creating okay, before price dropped, we created some sort of support. Right, and then we made that all time high slash double top. And then price had what? Price had a drop, a big candle close below this support zone with multiple, with price trading above, with price trading below that very same zone for some time. So below support, we're creating some sort of resistance, right? Textbook Forex. And then price to get what? Price dropped to the downside. On the previous support zone, again, the previous um, support zone, price traded below for it, right? Multiple rejections and price trading below for it, creating what? Some sort of what? Some sort of resistance again below support. And then price did what? Price pushed to the downside with a big candle and the other candle opened bearish and closed bullish. Right. So, but now price coming back to our 2022 um support, right? What does this tell us? Was price really having a double top in order for it to come back to this very same zone? So come and gain momentum like it once did to push to the upside and continue further to the upside, breaking above or trading above our previous all-time highs, people. Am I, am I making sense to what I'm explaining, to what I'm seeing with this now, okay? You can tell that price had some support, right? Price pushed to the upside, creating some sort of double top, right? That 2020, that all-time high zone, that all-time high resistance slash double top. And then price pushed to the downside, coming back to our previous what? To our previous support zone. And then giving us signs that we might be looking for possible or we might be having a potential reversal. Is this confirming to us that with price coming back above 
trading below and trading above support on our monthly time frame and price having a bear candle close below support and a bear candle with a bullish close above our support with the current candle trading bullish does this confirm that price trading above support above our major support does this confirm that we are looking for reversal or is price really 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 just looking to continue bullish to continue bearish with a lower high anticipation to continue to the downside i don't know people but to my side when i'm looking at what i'm looking at price is looking to be bullish <laughs> so looking at the daily time play because i now know how prices reacted on my zones i now know how prices reacted on its previous zones how prices reacted on my zones and how prices potentially um showing a sense of how it might move right so let's look at this now let's look at this let's look at this we have our double we have a double top right on our resistance which was one of the reasons why price dropped right so when i look at current price okay let me remove this and this so when i now look at current price price had some sort of support forget about this one where price rejected from price had some sort of support right here right until price had a close below of our support, coming back to our what? To our major support, right? So with this multiple rig rejections right there on our daily time frame, right? So with those rejections on our daily time frame and this bear candle open, okay? So we had a close below our support, right? And we had a bear candle open continuing to the downside right trading below our major support and we had price closing bullish above our major support and i remember calling out this trade on my on my trading on my trading community right sorry so with this candlestick opening bearish and closing bullish above our 2021 major support and the coming candlestick trading bullish closing bullish above the rejections which we had and retracing the whole movement that we had right and price pulling back again failing to go trade below our major support with a bullish candlestick engulfing to the upside trading above some previous zones again does this confirm to me that with what i'm looking at and the information that i'm getting on what i'm looking at on current price is this confirming that it is really price looking to be bullish and reverse to the upside or as there's a lower low, a lower high um, anticipation to continue to the downside. I repeat, on my side, I see price being bullish, right? So because I stick to because I stick to price action, I follow what I see, I trade what happens, and I trade what is price showing me, right? So if I hop down to the four hour being my last um time frame, being the last time frame. I don't even need to say much on the four hour. The only thing that I just need to say, or the only thing that I need to show you all is to say price is trading above a previous zone because you, you, you guys need to remember, you guys need to remember, right? You guys need to remember, you guys need to remember that all the zones that I marked out, if price trades, let me just say this, if price trades below the zone, I'm bearish. If price trades above the zone, I'm bullish. If price trades above the zone, I'm bullish. If price trades below, I'm bearish. If price trades below, I'm bullish. If price trades below, I'm bearish. If price trades above, I'm bullish. If price trades below, I'm bearish. If price trades above, I'm bullish. If price trades below, I'm bearish. So with this said, people, let me just let you all understand one thing. Long as price is trading above zones, I will be bullish. Long as price is trading above my zones, I will be bullish. But if price trades below, if price trades below, if price trades below, then I'm bearish on my zones. You feel me, people? You feel me, people? So on oil from the monthly time frame, price kind of like price had a price broke above major zones and giving us signs of price closing above our major zones because we only have two days before the candlestick on the multi time frame closes, right? So with a trade below and a close above, price has a rejection, right? So that's one thing. On the weekly time frame, price traded above 
price traded below those zones with a big engulfing candlestick anticipation of what price continuing to the downside but the coming candlestick has a big candle continuing to the downside but a bullish close above our zone does two right and then the deck one on the monthly on the weekly on the daily we had multiple rejections of the zone on that zone breaking out and breaking in breaking out and breaking in until we had a big candle until we had a big candle move to the downside and a bullish candle above of that zone and the coming candle closing bullish engulfing that very same zone above of that other zone that's that's three. So now with those three anticipations, that's just clearly confirmed that as price really looking to be bullish, right? So that's what I will leave it at, right? But on my side, I'm looking for price to continue bullish following what? Following current structure. This is Boy Harlem. That's all I got on this video. I'm out.